So we want to draw a picture. Draw the half cell, and then we're going to calculate uh, the potential. So what I would do, if you're drawing a picture, draw down the template first, which uh, for the most part, it doesn't matter <coughs> what uh, reaction you're doing. So you draw your two half cells, you put electrodes in them. You connect those electrodes by a wire. There's a voltmeter that can measure the voltage. Those two half cells are filled with liquids and maybe other things. Uh, and then those half cells are also connected uh, by a salt bridge. You got your electrodes, you know that the left hand side is called the anode, and oxidation occurs there. You know the right hand side is called the cathode, and reduction happens there. So, all this is the same so far for mostly any picture. And actually, you know that the electrons are going to go from left to right through the diagram. So, now what we can do is fill in the blanks. Um, let me get a different color and we'll write down the reactions. We have uh, copper nitrate and silver nitrate. Uh, so copper 2 nitrate, that's just copper 2 plus. And then we have uh, silver 1 nitrate, Ag plus 1. So this is going to be uh, add a nuance to what we did before because this time I don't give you the reactions. You have to come up with the reaction all by yourself. Uh, these are going to go to solid copper and solid silver. Now note, even those copper nitrate and silver nitrate, I didn't write down the nitrates, it was unnecessary. Uh, those are going to be part of the salt bridge, and they're uh, essentially spectator ions. Okay, so you can balance this going through the method. You can also just look on here if you want. Uh, it's copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to copper solid, and silver plus plus 1 electron goes to silver solid. So if you don't have this, uh, make sure to pick this up from whatever textbook. I'm also going to write down the voltages or the cell potentials that go with it. So silver, silver plus is plus 0.8, so we're going to write that down. And then copper 2 plus to copper is 0.34, so we're going to write that number down as well. Okay, so I'll, if you could read that, I will copy down everything I just said. So this is plus two electrons, and this is plus an electron. Uh, and then I'm going to write the voltages, the E standard, or E squiggly. And uh, I think for copper, I said it was 0 0.8. Oh, did I? Oh, 0.34 for copper, thank you. 0 0.34, and it's 0 0.8 for silver. Okay. Now the difficult part is figuring out which one are we going to put on which side. Which one's the oxidation, which one's the reduction. Well, here's the deal. Uh, right now they're both written as what? Oxidations or reductions? They're written as reductions. So one is correct and the other one has to be the oxidation. Because you need one to be an oxidation, one to be a reduction. Okay. What has to happen that I didn't mention before is that the total, the E standard for the cell, the total, has to be a positive number for it to be spontaneous or for this to go forward. And so essentially you have to flip the one that is going to allow you to have a positive answer in the end. So the only one that I can possibly make an oxidation is the top one. Because if I flip this and it becomes negative, still my total answer will be positive. So what I'm going to do, cross this out, 
and I'm going to rewrite it as copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to copper, oh, now I'm going to cross it out again and rewrite it. Okay, <laughs> copper solid, there we go, there we go. Goes to copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons, and now that's negative 0 0.340. So all I did is flip that. That makes um, this the reduction and this the oxidation. And the way, reason I like that is because when you sum these up, uh, you get plus 0 0.46. And again, that's volts. All these units are going to be volts. That's a positive number. Positive E squigglies or positive cell voltages makes the whole process spontaneous. It'll happen naturally. We'll learn more about that in a little while, um, but we want those positives. So that means when we come up to our pitcher, the oxidation goes with the anode. That means this is copper solid. This is silver solid, because that's the reduction. Copper solids go into copper 2 plus aqueous, and it's losing electron. Uh, for the silver, silver plus aqueous is plating on or going on to the electrode on the right hand side. And, and there's an electron coming in to react with it. Uh, what else uh, do we need? Well, we can put our solutions if we want. So I had told us we have 1.00 molar of copper nitrate. And we have 1.00 molar silver nitrate. I guess I didn't need parentheses, but I wrote it anyways. So those are the solutions that are actually in there. The nitrate is essentially a spectator ion. It's part of the salt bridge. So because I already have an anion, I'm going to make the salt bridge KN of 3. So whatever spectator slash salt they give me, in this case nitrate, I'm going to use in my salt ridge. Most of the time, I either see in the salt ridge potassium nitrate or potassium chloride are the most two common ones. Uh, so there we go. We've got the voltage, 0.46. That's what you read on your voltmeter. And there's your cell diagram. Any questions about this? If you want to see the pretty version, you can straight from your text. It looks like that.